We all know that Jim Lampley is known for, you know, being biased and picking sides and, you know, do a little conniving shit here and there. But I got to say, man, the day I decided to watch the fight game, well, I didn't decide it. I was about to read this brand new book I done got me, Think and Grow Rich. Y'all should check it out. But anyways, that's beside the point. I was about to read it. And I had the fight game, and, and uh, he started saying some real ass shit. And normally, you know, Jim Lantley, Jim Lampley is not known, not known for saying some real ass shit. So I had to stop reading. And I was like, wait a minute. I know this motherfucker ain't saying some real ass shit. And he was. And I got to say, man, I got to give props where props is due. Shout out to Jim Lampley because he really said one of the realest shit he ever in, in this point in time. You know, I mean, in this in this show right here, man, he really, I'm, I got to clap. I mean, I got to give him a, a standing ovation, man. Like, li just listen to this guy. But our designation of Al Heyman as the year's most influential figure has little to do with his advice to last year's person of the year, Mayweather. It's about what he's doing with the other reported 130 plus fighters who now make up his clientele. If you had a sense 2014 was a year somewhat devoid of compelling top-level competition, yep. you would not be off base. Yes, sir. The light heavyweight champion Adonis Stevenson had opportunities to fight three fellow stars, Sergey Kovalev, Bernard Hopkins, and John Pascal. He avoided all three. Damn right. The heavyweight titleist Peter Quillen gave up a belt and a career-high purse to avoid a fight with Matt Corabuck. Damn Alex right. The junior featherweight titleist Leo Santa Cruz fought a sparring partner huh. on the undercard of Mayweather Maidana too. Adrian Broner and Lucas Matisse, logical opponents for each other, fought lesser opponents on the same card. That's right. Danny Garcia fought a 140-pound opponent so underqualified, even the governing bodies that market his belts wouldn't dignify the enterprise by charging a sanctioning fee. Exactly. Rising welterweight force, Keith Thurman fought long-faded former lightweight Julio Diaz, then fought a 40-year-old non-entity. Tell him. All these stars are advised by Al Heyman. That's the proverbial tip of the iceberg. It would be great for boxing. Great if one brilliant entrepreneur managed an astonishing client list of 130 plus fighters with the consistent objective of making the most attractive and competitive fights available within reasonable limits to protect mm -hmm. their health and business prospects. Yes, sir. But that hasn't been Heyman's game. He's about avoidance of risky competition. His formula has worked for star client Floyd Mayweather for a variety of reasons. Among them, that Mayweather took the right perceived risks earlier on. Damn right. Gennaro Hernandez and Oscar De La Hoya to get to where he is now. That's right. But the Mayweather approach is not the right approach for the overall enhancement of boxing. Damn boxing right. Fans want to see great fights, without which it is difficult to earn an identity as a great fighter. Exactly. It's widely reported that for the next two years, Heyman will provide talent for as many as 40 boxing telecasts on NBC Sports, Net, and NBC. This would normally be cause to rejoice for everyone in the business, but no one is rejoicing now. Unless the philosophy changes and viewers get to see the best fighting the best. And based on what happened to Heyman's clients in 2014, that's the last thing we can expect. Oh! So for gathering together the largest concentration of boxing talent in the history of the sport, and then mostly shielding that talent from the kind of competition that would make him a hero to the boxing world, Al Heyman is the 2014 TFG Person of the Year. Thanks for being Damn. with Damn! El Heyman, I hope you you throw yourself in, in a big body of water. Go find an ocean. Go find a pool. Go find a lake. Because, boy, Mr. Jim Lampley just burned the fuck out your ass, boy. He just burned the fuck out of you. Like, he just, he just threw some gas on your ass and just fucking lit up a match and shit. Because, man, Jim Lampley could not have said it best. You are conniving. Sneaky piece of shit ass promoter. And I hope 2015 you can make better fights. I really do. Anyways, it's your boy Kid Twist. I hope you guys are having a great holidays. Hope you guys are eating real good, you know, enjoying yourself. New year, a year went by, flew by. You know, I had great things. I had great things to talk about. I have bad things to talk about. You know, I mean, I had great things, and I had bad things, you know, it just, it is what it is, the balance, yin and yang, but, um, you know, I'll probably hit, put up another video on, um, 
on our what you might call it on, on on New Year's. And man, make sure y'all guys stay out there. You know, you guys stay safe, and you know, don't drink and drive. And um, yeah, man. I mean, happy holidays, motherfucker. <laughs>